Hello everyone and welcome back to Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. So today we're reviewing something a little different, very unique. So unique in fact, it's the only bottle in existence. This is the Beagle Rare Kentucky Howl Bottled and Fraud. Let me repeat that for you. Beagle Rare Kentucky Howl Bottled and Fraud. And it was created out of the old Charter Distillery. Uh, so let me give you a little backstory about how this bottle was created. So it all started with a man that goes by the name of ADHD Fishing, who decided to create this infinity bottle and pass it amongst a chain of whiskey review channels and podcasts to keep this blend alive, ultimately ending with Dixon Deadman of Kentucky Owl, who's basically going to take this bottle and make it drinkable again after we're all done with it. Uh, but there are a couple rules uh, with this bottle as it gets passed uh, amongst these, these channels and podcasts. Uh, number one being that you can pour as much as you like. Uh, number two, you can replace it with as much or more than you originally poured. And number three being you can only use bourbon, rye, wheat, or corn in this blend. Uh, but before we go ahead and get into any uh, any nosing or, or sipping here, um, I want to give you a little backstory of what Kentucky Howl is and Old Charter Distillery. So the story goes, Edward H. Trailer was a stagecoach driver in the early 1900s. He lived in a tiny crooked shack with his hunting dog Muggsy Beegs. The walls of his rickety home were adorned with illustrations of gadgets he someday planned to invent. His entrepreneurial dreams were dashed. However, when oil was discovered on his property, he was offered a large fortune to take his beagle and his drawings and move on down the road. Local historians were quoted as saying, That boy turned cheek, bought a fancy bourbon distillery, chartered down, and just started drinking. Hence the name, Old Charter. The beagle, as discovered later, had a knack for finding the best barrels on the property. When Old Charter finished a barrel, Muggsy Beegs would sniff out the next honey barrel and let out a victory howl that could be heard throughout Kentucky. It's up to you, the internet, and ultimately Dixon Deadman, to blend a bottle in honor of Old Charter, who lived our dream, and Muggsy Beegs, the rarest dang beagle who ever beagled. So guys, I'm really excited to uh, get into this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour out... Um, two ounces of this, roughly two ounces into this glass. And uh, I will be replacing it with something that I think is going to um, add to this, whether it's, um, you know, if it needs uh, more fruity character, some oak, some spice. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and see, see what it's all about. Good pour there. All right. Give this guy a nose here. Actually getting a lot of uh, rye, rye spices on the nose. Nice sweet vanilla. Definitely picking up some, uh, some oak in there too, which is really nice. I'm not picking up so much caramel. There's a little bit of caramel in there. There's definitely some lighter fruits. Some summer fruits, some strawberries. Almost picking up a hint of uh, a little apricot. And there is a little bit of nuttiness in the back. Um, not too much, though. Let's get into the taste, guys. Cheers. Wow, that's actually really good. So first impression, it actually coats the palate very well. Um, very viscous. A little bit of heat, not too hot. Um, it's more of a mix of the, the proof and the... Uh, some of the rye that's that's coming out and, and some of these um, bourbons and ryes that are in here. From there, it's almost I almost get a like a, a cracker jack type flavor on the on the mid palate. 
nice Kentucky hug that goes down. Really nice finish. Um, got a nice, uh, nice oaky finish to it. Let's go in for a second sip, guys. Yeah. Man, that is good. Okay, so I'm still getting some uh, of the rye, uh, rye characters on the front of the palette. But there is a really nice sweet vanilla note um, that just sits right on the front. And then this Cracker Jack flavor right on the middle of the palette. Um, it's really, really nice. Getting some of the summer fruits that were that were on the nose, um, that they, they are they are being you know, um, they're they're starting to pop up a little bit on the middle of the palette. Not going any further than that though. Back of the palette is a uh, really nice oak. You get a, get a little bit of that vanilla too that that kind of flows through. And one more, guys. Yeah, so uh, proof wise, it's not, it's not really, uh, it's not really gonna blow you away. It's got, a, it's got a little bit of heat to it. Um, again, front of the front of the palate, it's, it was a lot of the rye spices and some of that sweet vanilla. Middle of the palate, you get this awesome, awesome kind of cracker jack flavor um, that's just kind of sitting there right now, and then. There's some of those uh, summer fruits that really start to, to open up on the middle, start to go back towards the, the, the back of the palette into the finish. Um, you get that, get that nice oak in there. Maybe a little bit of like a walnut, like a walnut maybe on the, on the finish there with that oak. Um, but this is, uh, this is really, really good for an affinity blend. I would, uh, you know, if this were 50, $60, I would gladly pay that for this bottle just as it is. Um, really nice flavors and that, that Cracker Jack flavor that I'm getting on the middle of the palate, it's just still sitting there. So, um, it is very viscous, uh, and it's, you know that that oak you get that that oak and that vanilla that kind of kind of flows through there a um, little bit of the summer fruits that still kind of sit on the the front of the middle of the palette um, really nice stuff so what i'm going to do guys is uh i'm going to go figure out what i am going to pour uh, back in this bottle um i have an idea of what i want to add to it but um let me go look and uh we'll see what we come up with be right back all right, guys, I'm back. So I took about 15 minutes to try and decide what I wanted to add to this blend and why. But before we get into that, let me go ahead and break down what is currently in this blend. So it started out with a 1973 Jim Beam, Stag Jr., Old Granddad 114, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, New Rift Single Barrel, and Old Forester Rye. That was the original blend. Uh, the Bourbon Junkies added the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, Chris from Bourbon Sane added the Mayor Pingree, and Bill from the Whiskey Dick added the Jefferson's Ocean. So I'm going to add two ounces of the Blanton straight from the barrel, and here's why. Um, I wanted to try to maintain the richness that's in this bottle. Um, it's very mouth coating, very viscous. Um, I think the Blanton straight from the barrel is going to add to that. Uh, it's going to bring some darker fruits. It's going to maintain those, those oak tannins. Uh, it's also going to bring a nice sweet vanilla cream, some caramel, um, a little bit of cinnamon in, in there with it. Um, but it's also going to try to raise up that, that proof point as well. Um, right now it's at a, it's at a really nice proof, uh, but I wanted to, to make it a little hotter. So let's go ahead and add this two ounces of Blanton straight from the barrel in here. I mean, this was a really good blend, so hopefully this will just add to it. And uh, next up on the list, guys, we have uh, Jason from the Mash and Drum is the next one on this chain. So please make sure you tune into his channel. Um, he's really going to knock this one out of the park. He does a fantastic job with 
everything he does. So uh, he is the next line to get this. So make sure you guys are, are watching. Uh, thank you to ADHD Fishing for uh, allowing me to hop on um, uh, this train and, and go along for the ride. This was an awesome experience. Also, thank you for um, your generosity in uh, donating this bottle um, once it reaches its final destination. So uh, thank you all, and um, you know, make sure you tune in to the Mash and Drums review of this Infinity Blend. Uh, until next time, guys. Stay dusty.